when Jesus was here he was called God with us then he said I'm gonna send another who would the another be the Holy Ghost what would he be God with us just another reason why we worship the Holy Ghost he's God with us and if you met him you know that why we worship the Holy Ghost why we worship the Holy Ghost well a lot of people don't you understand you say oh I worship the Holy Ghost but people be like oh wait what is all that all about well they don't understand that he's God if they knew him as God they would worship him now, most of you here have heard all this stuff before but we're doing this for a reason let's look at first Peter chapter 3 verse 15 but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always what to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear so we need to be ready to give an answer to why we worship the Holy Ghost I know that most people even watching here most people don't most people don't worship the Holy Ghost most churches don't even though their doctrine allows for it and tells them to did you know that this message is for those who do worship the Holy Ghost it'll give you answers to describe why you worship the Holy Ghost and for those of you who don't yet worship the Holy Ghost of which there are many this will give you reasons to start faith comes by hearing if they hear the preaching then they can know who God is in the earth today by the way the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words now I realize you've probably heard that a thousand times because I say it almost every week but that is a massive amount of revelation to the regular guy walking down the street they don't know so number one the number one reason why we worship the Holy Ghost is because he's God yeah you see you should worship God right they just don't know he's God in the earth today otherwise they'd worship him That's right. if they're gonna work well some people don't worship anything except their iPhones <laughs> he's God number one why we worship the Holy Ghost he's God and he's as God as much as Jesus is or the Father is in fact he has more precedence now because it's his dispensation number two he the Holy Ghost is the one that Jesus sent to be with you really yeah Jesus left and sent another who did he send he sent the Holy Ghost who is God from heaven into the earth and he's still here today right. now John 14 16 says I will send another remember that mm -hmm. Jesus said I will send another well you can't have another of something until you've had the first one are you here I want another cookie did you have one no but I want another one you might want another one but you still have to have the first one first That's right. I will send another do you do we need to look this up I don't think so well in Matthew 123 what was one of the names of Jesus think Matthew beginning of Matthew 123 what did they call Jesus what was the what did Emmanuel mean God with us is Jesus with us no. no Jesus left you see but when Jesus was here he was called God with us then he said I'm gonna send another is this difficult no he's gonna send another who would the another be the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. what would he be God with us he's sending another this, this can't be that difficult just another reason why we worship the Holy Ghost he's God with us and if you met him you'd know that yes. right mm -hmm. God with us Jesus isn't with us he sent another had to be gone to send the another the another is the Holy Ghost he's God with us now Jesus isn't God with us now Jesus is gone and he is at the right hand of the Father many scriptures say that and he sent another like him person God Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today we worship him are you here so did he send him yes he sent him he's still with us is it still with you yes it's still with me 
he's still with me and it's his time and his dispensation that's number three when he came into the earth on the day of Pentecost Jesus sent him he came into the earth and he hasn't left it's still his time say his time it's his time to shine it's his time to do whatever he needs to do he has carte blanche to be able to do whatever he wants to do it's his will he's God are you here yes he has full dispensational authority why we worship the Holy well it seems strange that you worship the Holy Ghost well that's because you don't know who God is if you knew who he was you'd worship him too and so would your church why don't they that's my question oh why do you worship the Holy Ghost why don't you number three it's his time it's his dispensation it's his age Ooh, he has full dispensational authority first Corinthians 12 are you there yeah. let's look at verse 11 but all these say all these. all these all these and he included in this whole thing all the gifts of the Spirit all the administrations of the Spirit all the operations of the Spirit all the gifts of the Spirit and including being born again all of these all the way down to verse 11 but all these verses 1 through 11 worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills he's a self he's an individual he has a will and he works all of these things well if he's working them all then no one else is because if he's doing it are you here he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today Holy Ghost worship him get good at it there's benefits that's what we're gonna talk about today I hope you're excited about it good I, I'm glad I got in on this message with the benefits because that's what I want the benefits I agree you want the benefits right all these work if that one say that one, that one. what one that one that self same spirit so he's a self dividing this every man severally or individually as he wills it's his will and he's the one doing it that's how it goes down Holy Ghost does it mm -hmm. Holy Ghost looks at you gives you things Holy Ghost moves on you and you understand something that you didn't understand before you could even get born again the Holy Ghost moves on you in fact if he doesn't move on you you don't get born again you understand Holy Ghost number four why we worship the Holy Ghost because of the liberties say the liberties Liberty. the liberties found in him that can't be found anywhere else second Corinthians 3 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or other translations and I kind of like it, it says where the spirit is Lord mm -hmm. oh what do you mean where the spirit is Lord there's Liberty you see you see where the spirit is lord there's liberty where who's lord the spirit who's the spirit the holy ghost is the spirit he's the living god and where he's lord there's liberty well if he's lord you're worshiping him do you understand yes but we all with open face yeah open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory so number one the first benefit of worshiping the Holy Ghost would be being changed well I don't want to be changed look at me I'm really good yeah you're good but you could be better and later he goes good per good acceptable perfect see you're good but he's gonna take you from that to the next level of glory how do you go to the next level may I ask by worshiping the Holy Ghost because by worshiping him you're beholding him in fact where it says beholding and is in a glass the glory he, those words could be translated the worship of the Lord while you're beholding you're worshiping him there's liberties in the Holy Ghost that can't be accessed outside of worshiping the Holy Ghost when you worship the Holy Ghost he begins to change you now I should warn people maybe I'll do a little more warning here in a minute but uh, he changes you which means you're not the same that you were before he changed you when you change your clothes are you wearing the same clothes I hope not come in the house you're all stinky and disgusting and you go change your clothes but really all you did was put on a new pair of clothes over your old clothes nobody does that I hope right you're changed 
by worshiping the Holy Ghost it's the number one thing he begins to do this is a good one because people go well you're different why are you so different why do you believe all these different things that nobody else seems to be believing mm -hmm. even though it's in their doctrine right. why do you why do you believe and do that because I've been changed my mind has been renewed from glory to glory from good to great a lot of people are happy with the good so they never go to the great right but sometimes you have to sacrifice the good to get to the great mm -hmm. and hopefully you don't give up in the middle right. then you're just sad okay. are there a lot of sad Christians out there <laughs> oh yeah goodness why so sad why the long face you know you always say that to a horse if you ever meet a horse why the long face <laughs> because they have a long face <laughs> with the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost I must warn you he will change your thinking he will cause you to go outside the camp many times think of this if the camp isn't worshiping him and you're worshiping him where you have to go outside the camp he'll take you outside the camp because the words I worship you Holy Ghost are not found anywhere inside the camp I've looked one of the benefits is he rewrites the code as you're worshiping him he will rewrite your code I'll just throw one out there and you can be mad at me if you want who do you have a re personal relationship with the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you believe what Jesus did and you receive the one Jesus sent he's the Holy Ghost you have a personal relationship with the Holy Ghost who's also the living God so he will begin to rewrite your thinking he'll begin to rewrite your code he'll begin to give you a brand new Bible and you'll see scriptures that you never saw before who does this the Holy Ghost it's his job first Corinthians 12 let's look at verse 6 and there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which works all in all who's the same God the Holy Ghost he's God he's working it's the, he's the same God that's working all in all there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit there are differences of administration the same Lord verse 6 there are diversities of operations diversities means differences and the operations means effect and worshiping the Holy Ghost is a diversity of operation that has a different effect than other things do can you understand that mm -hmm. the diversities of operations worshiping the Holy Ghost is a diversity of operation that has a different effect than anything else does what are the effects the effects are benefits is you get a new Bible you get scriptures that are now weighted towards the Holy Ghost worshiping the Holy Ghost has a different effect on you does he need to change no you're changed into his image you're changed into what he wants you to be that means you change you have a relationship with him yes it changes things and then you walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today is that any different than what much most people are doing it's enormously different than what most people are doing so when you wake up in the morning go uh, good morning Holy Ghost I worship you how accurate is that the one in the earth is the Holy Ghost he's the one you walk with That's right. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you brethren by the mercies of God that you now here what who would this be weighted towards this, I just read the mercies of God whose mercies was that be Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God who are we presenting your body to the Holy Ghost, the holy Ghost. why would that because he's God he's in the earth he and you are his temple there's specific scriptures that say that mm -hmm. you're presenting your body to the Holy Ghost which is your reasonable service are you here yes now the reasonable service could be translated what spiritual worship yeah worship presenting your bodies right holy acceptable unto the Lord your spiritual worship worshiping the Holy Ghost verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but if I do this if I worship the Holy Ghost I won't be conformed to the world but I will be transformed mm -hmm. 
changed again remember one glory to the next glory changed transformed by the renewing of your mind I mean your mind wasn't as new as it is now after you worshiped him my mind wasn't thinking the way it should have been and until after I worshiped him it, it was better are you here mm -hmm. what are some of the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost he renews your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God who God the Holy Ghost who's in you who's with you who you walk with you're proving his will being changed from good to acceptable to perfect well you can't get to perfect no you can't because you don't worship the Holy Ghost he said how you're gonna get there you're gonna go from one to the next by worshiping the Holy Ghost so if you continue he will perfect that which concerns you say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will, will perfect that which concerns me what would the perfect be how about perfect health would we like to go there how about perfect prosperity who pray thy will be done where on earth as it is in heaven that's the perfect we're bringing it here how do we bring it here by worshiping the Holy Ghost why we worship the Holy Ghost because of the benefits I don't know about you I'm just that way but I worship the Holy Ghost because of the benefits I worship him because he's God number one and I need to but I worship him because of the benefits and when I worship him he changes me he changes my thinking he gives me revelation he causes me to to glow in the dark I like it Romans chapter 14 verse 17 for the kingdom of God well whose kingdom is it Holy Ghost the kingdom of Holy Ghost is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost where's the kingdom of God in the Holy Ghost when we're worshiping the Holy Ghost we're worshiping him and his kingdom is there any benefit to that say I access it now yeah. by worshiping by worship. the, Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost specifically says the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost That's right. righteousness peace and joy and righteousness is there any benefits of being right with God how can you be right with God when you don't worship God you don't know who he is go to uh, Matthew chapter 6 we'll try to end with this Whew, good brother I was praying you then soon I don't know where that weird southern accent came from <laughs> Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but seek ye first the kingdom of God are you here in our dispensation we can say seek ye first the kingdom of who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost seek ye first the kingdom of Holy Ghost and his righteousness or how you are to be right with him and here comes the benefit all these things shall be added unto you what things the things he talked about earlier what you would eat what you would wear what you put on all these things right all the things that Gentiles seek but seek ye first the kingdom of God we just read that the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost and we read that God is the Holy Ghost in the earth today so the kingdom of Holy Ghost and his righteousness being right there is nothing righter than worshiping God and using the words I worship you Holy Ghost I mean it takes you so far you could be bumble 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 along bumble along and go I worship you Holy Ghost and he'll just pick you up and move you to the end of the aisle mm -hmm. why why does he do that you think God likes people that worship him if the Holy Ghost is God and he's in the earth today will he like you if you worship him mm -hmm. will he favor you above someone else that doesn't worship him mm -hmm. I'm telling you yes reasons why you should worship the Holy Ghost if you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you'll be in right standing with God because you are the worshiper and he's the one being worshiped are you getting this yes. your right standing 
in front of his face you have his attention how do you want to get God's attention worship him worship him I worship you you know some of my su most successful uh, times in worshiping him is when I've been an idiot and I say God I've been an idiot but I worship you what does he do he moves you to the front of the class because the other ones aren't worshiping him they're throwing spitballs at each other it increases his favor towards you he looks at you he you have his attention it gives you access to the kingdom that no one else has how many of you heard me preach on the room of Holy Ghost worship you enter a room that other people can't go in why because it is an operation of the Spirit that's different and therefore it takes you to a different place Holy Ghost worship takes you to a different place so not only when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you get his attention you understand that mm -hmm. you got to have his attention first you got to have his attention that's why it's so important what you say after you have his attention make sure you have your words straight you don't want to offend him and make him upset well the Holy Ghost doesn't get upset I could take you to many scriptures where the Holy Ghost got upset the Bible says don't grieve the Spirit of God right he gets grieved you don't want to be the one doing that That's right. you want to be the one with his favor and then saying things that are in agreement with him that's righteousness right you have his attention he increases his favor towards you and he gives you access to the room of Holy Ghost worship that that people that don't worship the Holy Ghost can't go there do you understand mm -hmm. well, I guess I'll just tell you I was in this place of worshiping the Holy Ghost and you do it's like a room you go into a room and there's things in there that other people aren't allowed to experience like it or not that's the way it is well when I was in there an angel spoke to me and again you know you can believe this stuff or not whatever I just have to say it I was in there and I know an angel spoke to me and he said I don't have anything to do with people who don't worship the Holy Ghost he's in this room of worshiping God and he's an angel are you here mm -hmm. that doesn't have anything to do with people who don't worship the Holy Ghost or don't worship God so here's an angel that could be doing things for you but he won't do things for you because you won't worship God what do you think the solution to that is oh, worship God and you'll be able to activate the angels who just don't do things for people who don't worship God brother you're making stuff up <laughs> no I'm not Psalms 34 verse 7 the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him and delivers them so here's an angel that camps around somebody that what fears him if you look up the word fear it means to reverence great reverence and I was like okay well uh, and so I looked that up guess what it said sure. to respect someone to the degree of worship that's what fear means. to fear the Lord is just another way of saying worship the Lord mm -hmm. are you here the fear of the Lord is the worship of the Lord who's the Lord in our day now the Lord is that spirit here it says well look at verse 9 oh fear the Lord you his Saints for there is no want to them that fear him it's one of the benefits of worshiping the Holy Ghost oh worship the Lord you his Saints there is no want to them that worship him am I making this up no. no and then he says up in verse 7 the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that worship him and delivers them who does he deliver Lord. them that worship him and that's exactly what he said to me he said I don't have anything to do with people who don't worship God mm -hmm. I said hey all right whatever and then I found this scripture so you have angels that are activated we'll use that word I don't know if it's good or not but they're activated to do things for you when you worship God all you have to do is sit there and say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and you'll have angels that encamp around you that will deliver you from poverty they'll deliver you from debt they'll deliver you from sickness and disease they'll deliver you from stupid thinking they'll even deliver you from ugliness 
yeah they'll make you beautiful he said worshiping the beauty of holiness I better stop <laughs> let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that people have learned why they should worship the Holy Ghost I ask you to seal these words in them and that they begin worshiping you and this says in the Spirit of, thus says the Spirit of God Holy if you will God. worship me and daily bring your offerings to me through Holy worship Ghost and praise God. I will begin to manifest myself to you my angels will minister to you and you will be those things that have concerned you and bothered you will be taken out of the way miraculously in Jesus name amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today